It's acres and move makers. It's acres and move makers. I deal with land flippers, acres and move makers, room shakers, big boys with huge paper, the news tapers. You can run, but can't escape us. We went in with these. Flash green when they act racist. Success is so contagious. Let's go. Acres and move makers. Welcome to Acres and Move Makers. My name is Ray, and today I want to talk to you about a topic of why I chose entrepreneurship. Jay let out with his story, or he made a video about his story. You can check that one out. Now I'm going to tell you why I chose entrepreneurship. Um, clearly, entrepreneurship is the way to go if you're looking for any financial freedom. And some of the reasons that I chose to get involved with entrepreneurship is because um just being candidly, I never really totally accepted the idea of the nine to five job. Me growing up, most of my peers, I saw them doing labor intensive jobs. Um, I didn't have a father figure in my home. Uh, my uncle was like my father figure and my uncle did blue collar jobs, right? Blue collar jobs. We all lived together. Um, most of my people didn't own their own homes. Um, and I was fine with that. I grew up with a whole lot of love, but not a whole lot of financial literacy. And people can't tell you or speak to you about something that they don't know. Don't expect to be taught something from a person that doesn't know. They only can teach you what they know. So they taught me how to pray, have faith, believe in God, but they didn't teach me how to go out and find a high paying or a job that yielded the wages that you wouldn't be suffering or could not afford your own home. So I had to figure these things out on my own. How did I figure these things out? By seeing other people living on a high level. What did that make me do? It made me admire them. It made me say, oh, I want those things. This is called human in nature. We all seek higher. We all look to grow and have things that um we can't we normally don't have access to. So I grew up in an impoverished neighborhood and uh you have to be careful of your surroundings because you become your surroundings. Whatever you surround yourself by, whether you like it or not, you become that environment. So most of the time I seen blue collar workers. So ironically I ended up with the blue collar job. Jay laughs all the time when I tell a story that when I finally did graduate high school, um, most of my jobs, 95% of them, I had when I, around this time, jobs used to be in the penny saver. I don't know if too many people can relate to the penny saver, but if you can, that means that you're probably a 70s or 80s baby. And the penny saver used to have jobs in there. And the requirements to get these jobs used to be, you must be able, able or capable to lift up to 50 pounds or more. What does that say? Labor in intensive, right? Those were most of my jobs. Most of my jobs was warehouse jobs. And I just didn't see myself doing this forever. It just, I just couldn't see it in outlet for that. So you have to start to seek higher. And that's what we did do. Um, even growing up, the word mentorship was a word that was foreign to us. We didn't hear about mentorship until I got, you know, past 30. And then I started seeking mentorship. So these things like that we learned as we got older, these are the things that helped me break away from that nine to five mentality. I clearly felt that when going to work that I couldn't see an end goal of it. I live in the state of New York and it just seemed like regardless of how much money that I made growing up, it just would never be enough. I used to think $25 an hour. I said, oh, if I could make $25 an hour, oh, I struck it rich. That's all that I need to make. The reason why I chose $25 an hour, because my stepfather made $25 an hour and he owned a home. So your environment, right? You become your environment. So he owned a home. So I thought $25 an hour, that was it. Till I made $25 an hour, then I realized that, oh, that's not that much different from making $15 an hour. Then I got a better job. I made $35 an hour. And that felt like making $25 an hour. Then I got a better job that I made $50 an hour. And that felt like making $35 an hour. Why? Regardless of how much you make and the more you make, the more taxes they take. The more you make, the more taxes they take. 
And when you live in a place where uh, the cost of living is high, what's really left is just enough to make you feel like you're getting ahead. Keyword feel. You feel like you're thriving because your your bottom line says, oh, I make $50 an hour. Until you realize it's really no, no major difference in these things. So until I started putting myself around people that was living on a high high level that didn't work a nine to five job. One thing that slapped me in the face really hard was there was a, a, a young man that um, we had a phone call with and uh, he ran his own business and we were talking to him on the phone and he mentioned, he was like, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm at home in my pajama pants taking care of business. And yeah, I made about so far for the day, I made about $5,000 a day and it was before lunch. He made about $5,000 for the day and it was before lunch. And that's that's when it hit me and said, yeah, I'm playing the game wrong. Because for me to make $5,000, forget before lunch, it took the, the month. <laughs> it took all 30 of those days for me to clear $5,000 in physical cash. So it made me feel like, is it something wrong with me? Or does he clearly know something that I don't know? So you start to seek those guys, start to pick those guys' brain, and you'll find that everybody that's doing things on a high level, they all say the same things. Yeah, mentorship. Yeah, masterminding. Yeah, putting yourself in the right rooms. Now, once you have that information, just do that. Find the person that has what you want, pay them for the information, and then do the same thing that they've done. It's a simple formula. Find the person that has the thing that you want. And when I say the person, that could be, i.e., a book. That could be a mentorship class. That could be direct mentorship, right? That could be a TV show. That could be a YouTube channel. Find the person that's doing the thing that you want to do. Pay them to help you skip the line, to expedite the time frame and then execute on the information that they put in front of you. And when we started doing those things, that's when things started to change. That's when I was a far, far, look back. I was so far away from making $50 an hour that if there's somebody offered me a $50 an hour job, I, I can't even see that anymore. And working a nine to five job, you know, average age for uh, African-American at that time was of uh, average life expectancy at that time was 67. And they told us that we can retire at 65, effectively meaning that I had two good years if my health was all right and if my back was still in working condition. So make it make sense. So that's my spill. That's why I chose entrepreneurship, really because I wanted the freedom. That's really what I want. It's not the money. It's the freedom for me to be able to do whatever I want. Because money is subjective. Some people may want to make a million dollars for the year. Some people may want to make a hundred million dollars in for the year. So you have to say what it is that um, fits your lifestyle and makes you and make you comfortable, whatever dollar amount. But for me, it's the freedom and the flexibility for me to say, I can do this whenever I'm ready to do it. So that's my spell. So the next time, make sure you like, subscribe, follow this page. If any of this resonated with you, um, great. We'll love to have you inside of our community because we do have a call. Jay has that call. That's called Mindset Tuesdays. In order for you to hit some of these levels that you want to hit, you're going to start. It starts with getting your mental right and um, put yourself in a room with people that's doing things on a high level and it'll rub off on you. You'll be the next person. So until the next time, invest in dirt, clean way to make money.